Hey, it's Ronan. Uh, I wanted to show you a video about what you can do with the digital download of the coloring book. So when you purchase uh, a coloring book, you get the physical thing and it's awesome and it's printed and nice high quality. Um, but you also get digital files. So I provide you with the original files of these eight illustrations. What can you do with them? You could do a few things with them. One is you could print them on your home printer and color them by yourself so they're not as precious right in terms of the coloring of the book you could send them to a printer and print them on this nice high quality paper um, and then you can display your prints right this one was professionally colored in I think it looks really really good so you can frame your own prints you can make them into uh, little uh, postcards that you can paint in and send to friends or family or display them yourselves in any size that you want. But really what I wanted to show you was how to color them in digitally. I am not a very good color inner and so the digital version I really really like. So um, I took those files that you download and I emailed them to myself. Is that true? I did. Uh, you can also put them onto your Dropbox. So let me show, show you what I can do with those digital files on my iPad. If you have an Android device, you can use that too. I'm using an Apple Pencil to color in. You can use your finger. Uh, a pencil really makes a big difference. So whatever platform you're on, this is an expensive solution, but there are more affordable solutions using uh, drawing devices. So I'll switch over to my uh, phone and let me show you what it's like. So I did a search on the App Store for a coloring app where I could loan my, load my own files. Uh, and I found one called Pigment. Let me show you what that looks like. So in Pigment, I'm using the trial version because it's free. And it lets me load three of my own files. The paid version lets me load all the files. Your uh, app might be different, um, but I did an import and it asked me, where do I want to import it from? I uh, imported it from my Dropbox and then I loaded the photo from my photos, which were then on the iPad. So once they're in your app, and again, depending on your app, the loading process might be different, but once they're on your app, let me show you what it's like to load them. You could see uh, a version that my, my son did. So this is the one, uh, it's asking me to color it. This is the pigment interface. Here's the file, right? This is the file from our coloring book. Um, and there are lots of things that I could do with it. So I have the option of choosing a pencil, colored pencils or a marker. The paid version gives me more. I could do uh, oils as well and the free version. But let's just start off with a marker. I could choose different color palettes. Let's start with this awesome muted color. Um, and I could start painting. And what I really like, you'll see me coloring, which is a fun adventure. Um, it, it colors inside the lines. So you see that I'm coloring next to the accordion and it doesn't let me go outside the lines, which I find really helpful. Um, and I could switch colors really easily. And again, I'm, I'm within this palette, so everything looks really good. There's an option here to go outside the line, so to go freehand, and then I'm just coloring like I would normally. Um, that looks not so good, not so bad. I could change the size of the brush and the opacity too. Let's start coloring in uh, these little switches in red, right? So I'm coloring outside the lines. Um, there's an undo button. There's also an eraser button. So if I didn't like this, I'll use my finger to erase. And again, I could change the size of the eraser. Um, let me color in a little bit more. I'll show you some other modes. I like these muted colors. There's a fun paintbrush tool. So just to fill in a big area, it's kind of satisfying. Now we have a nice brown accordion. Um, Let's choose gold keys. And I like filling it in like this. Um, there's something fun about how quickly it happens. And then again, let's use a marker um, and make sure we're coloring inside the lines. And I'll use these bold colors to color the actual keys. I find this super therapeutic, super relaxing. Um, yeah, and then the final product uh, can be printed. You could save it. 
And again, depending on, on your application, this one puts a little watermark called pigment for the free version, uh, but you could save it for later. What I love about this digital version is just when I'm done, I could just delete. It's not as precious as the color, uh, as the version that's printed uh, in the book. But again, these digital files are meant for you to do with as you please. Use the coloring book, gift it, and again, feel free to print your own versions and then color them in. Do your own postcards, do your own little prints. Thank you. I hope you enjoy.